What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This video is gonna cover SG's latest jailbreak update for the 7.xx jailbreak. Guys, just on a side note, there is gonna be a very interesting video I'm gonna be posting this weekend. Just make sure you don't miss that one out. All right, moving on. So I don't wanna get into all the technicalities guys, but just to make it clear, SG has made some tweaks to the jailbreak such a way that it actually works like it's supposed to work on 6.72. Now we know 6.72 is a little bit more stable than 7.xx jailbreak. So we're going to go and try this out guys and let's just see how it goes. I'm going to test it like five times. Right now my PS4 is jailbroken and it was running on the rest mode for all of these days and I really feel bad to take it out of it. Probably have to do a restart and then try over. But guys, we're going to go and run a few tests. I'm going to go to my internet browser first. I'm going to clear all the cookies and website data so we can start fresh so guys the host that quickly updated with the new sg's update is Keros host the wolf games and also night king's host so we're going to look into them quick tip guys if you're psn activated and you switch on the internet i know you're going to get a horde of notifications asking you to go ahead and update games or it actually starts updating the games directly as you can see now all my game updates are paused or doesn't work that's all you got to do is use a DNS, guys. If you guys want a detailed tutorial about it, let me know and I'll probably make one for that. Alright, guys. So, the cache is now installed. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. So, there we go. Uh, Night King does have it in the B7 version right here. And this is going to run the latest SG's exploit. So, guys, before I actually go and try it out, I'm going to go ahead and make it fresh. So, I'm going to actually restart my PS4 and start out completely fresh. All right, here we go, guys. I've restarted my PS4. I'm just gonna go log in right now. Gold Hand 1.0 is what normally works best for my particular PS4. I have a video about this on finding the best version of the jailbreak and the Gold Hand version that works for your PS4. Check it out on the top right corner or the link in the description, guys. So for right now, I'm gonna go for Gold Hand 1.0. So let's see how this one goes. I'm gonna fast forward most of it, except where it's very important for you guys to see. All right, looks like it's finally went through. But guys, there were some issues with some people facing where it gets stuck over here and nothing really happens. Okay, so there's one successful attempt right now. But I want to test this about five times, so this is just time number one. So let's go ahead and try it again. Attempt number two, let's just see how this one works. Just opening it up straight away and I'm going to go straight for it. I'm again going to go for golden 1.0. Oh, second attempt. Not bad. All right, guys, that actually is surprising. It just went off for the second attempt and it actually successfully loaded too. And sometimes you might have issues where it just freezes in the settings. It looks like that's all good too. And the rest mode is something I'll test at the very last attempt. So let's move to attempt number three. All right, guys, attempt number three. Let's see how this one goes. Opening it up again, going straight for golden 1.0. Okay, so we have our first failure over here, which is... Let's just hope it doesn't kernel panic. I'm going to try and reset the PS4. Most probably it will, but let's hope so. Oh, not bad. It actually is restarting without a kernel panic. Great, let's move on to the next attempt. All right, guys, so here we are on the fourth attempt. So the first two attempts went through. The second attempt didn't go through successfully, but it actually didn't kernel panic either. I was able to restart it without an issue. So here's attempt number four. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, attempt number four, let's go for it. Guys, it looks like we have another successful attempt. Kind of impressive. Four attempts down, and uh, I think I'm going to try one more time now with this particular exploit. Very impressive. So the fifth attempt, guys, I'm also going to test out rest mode, and I prefer to test rest mode three times. All right, guys, so the final attempt, attempt number five. We had four attempts. Three of them were successful. One of them failed, but with no kernel panic. So let's go for attempt number five. Let's see how this one turns out. And golden 1.0 again. About the fourth or fifth attempt, looks like it's successfully going through again, but let's just see if it completes successfully as well. Okay, I think I jinxed it. I, <laughs> I just had a kernel panic. All right, guys, so we're back again after the unfortunate kernel panic. So kernel panic is still a thing, so it's not like it's just going away anytime soon. This time, I'm gonna go ahead and clear my cookies and my website data, and I'm gonna try a different host. I'm gonna switch on the internet, and I'm gonna try Kero's host for the first time. Okay, so this is Kero's host, guys, uh, as mentioned earlier. So guys, since I'm on the 7.55 firmware, so this is what I would need to use. So he has a few different versions over here. So then I'm gonna try the auto version out. Okay, page is successfully cached. Turn off the internet and reopen the page. 
which is exactly what I'm going to do. So it looks like something is happening on the, the third or fourth attempt. So this host does have a very different way of uh, showing you how this happens. So I think the web exploit is now done. So that guys, that just looks like the web exploit was done. Now try to load one of these gold hidden versions and see how this one turns out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for golden version 1.0. So the screen went completely blank and it brings you back over here. Hmm, this is interesting. Let me just check if I'm, st I'm actually jailbroken though. Okay, it doesn't look like a successful attempt. Though there was not a curl panic, but that was pretty interesting. So let me let me try and run this one more time, just to see if uh, maybe something went wrong. Okay, after a few attempts, looks like it's finally going through again. Okay, well, let's try and run Gold Hand. And I think I'll choose Gold Hand version 1.1 this time. Okay, looks like that went through successfully, guys. I don't know if it was in the Gold Hand version 1.0 issue. Maybe the way the host loaded it up. But let me check in settings. Yes, I'm completely jailbroken right now. I'm going to go and test the rest mode just once to see if I can come out of rest mode three times in a row. And if that works perfectly fine, then that's good for me. Right, rest mode attempt number one. Okay, so we're going to wake it out of rest mode now. Looks like it's fine. I'm going to quickly check if I'm still jailbroken. All right, looks like I am, guys. Test number two, back to rest mode. All right, so test number two, let's wake it up. This is usually where it fails, but let's just see if it actually wakes up. All right, so far so good. I'm gonna do one last test for rest mode. If it goes to rest mode this time and wakes up again, then I'm pretty solid, I'm pretty sold. All right guys, final attempt of trying to wake up from rest mode the third time, let's wake it up. Alright guys, looks like I'm good again. Let's see if it's jailbroken and perfect. Looks like it's working perfectly fine. Rest mode is good. The only reason rest mode is the most important thing to me when you're jailbreaking because guys, if you are jailbroken once, you can leave your PS4 on rest mode for weeks and you don't have to worry about it. You can keep going in and out to try out different games and once you're done gaming, put it back into rest mode and let it be until the next time you want to start gaming so you don't have to go through the whole tedious process of jailbreaking it every single time. So guys, that's about it for this particular video. Of course, you also have the Wolf Game host. You guys can go check that out as well. And just want to quickly mention a few points over here, guys. So just because it works this way in my particular PS4 doesn't mean it's going to be the same experience for you in your particular PS4. You might have better success than I did, or you might have worse success than I did, guys. So I would suggest you to go ahead and try out a different host or two and try different versions of the jailbreak or different golden versions as well. That's what I recommended in my other video as well until you find the perfect one that works for you. Remember, guys, the latest doesn't mean the greatest. Sometimes the latest update could be something good for you or could not be something good for you. You would not really know unless you actually tried. And once you've tried it out and you think that this is actually much better for you, then you can stick on with it. If you don't think it's better for you, then I would suggest you to roll back to the version you were using and to stick on with that. Now, of course, Sound.55 or Sound.xx series has been a little bit of a mix on working some days and not working some days. So if at all you're having those days where it's not really working, guys, I would suggest you to go ahead and try switch a different host, try a different golden version, or even go for Mira if you have to, and try a few different combinations and eventually something will work and it's going to set your PS4 back to a more stable jailbreaking state. Alright guys, so that's about it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and drop it a like, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this new update and see how it's working for your particular PS4. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers, happy gaming and have a great weekend.